Hey everyone, DSD Ghost here, back with another build video for you. Today we have the 1.6.1 D3, or better known as Defense Build. Uh, first I will show you my gear, then I will show you my weapons, and then I will show you a short PvP clip of me using this in the Dark Zone. So, before we get started, a couple things to know about the D3 or Defense Build. Uh, obviously it's a little bit clunky, you're wearing a giant shield, so um, it's a pretty difficult thing to manage as far as turning around and, and battling players and things like that. So, whenever you're using a D3 build and when you watch my PvP clips, you'll notice that we're always in hallways or subways or somewhere where there's a tight corner. Obviously, fighting out in the open somewhere like this is not the best because someone can come from here, someone can come from here, someone can come from here, someone can come from over here. And you're here with a shield and you're trying to block everything and the majority of your defense is right in front of you. So you always want to have your enemy right in front of you or kind of like right here on the side of you. So being in a corner is usually the best place. Not a corner that closes you off somewhere where you have like an exit like right here. If you got back in here, you're kind of stuck because you got this pole here and things like that. If you're over here, rather, you can kind of fight him here and then dip out to the side or something like that. So you always want to be somewhere in a corner or an alleyway or somewhere where you can funnel people that they have to come right at you and your shield. And when you watch the PvP clip of me using this in the Dark Zone, you'll see that me and my team are usually somewhere in a hallway or alley or somewhere where people are funneled in one direction. And you'll see my team stack up behind me. Again, this is a great build for solo, but it's even better for a team setting. Uh, you'll see it's you know, a couple of my teammates will just stack behind me and shoot around my shield and I'll just stand there like this the whole time shooting players in front of me. So again, you want to make sure you don't fall, like, catch yourself outside in the wide open like this. Try and use alleys, uh, hallways, subways, things like that when using the build um, to help your chances of living. You want to try and not have people get behind you so that you can have them just in front of you the whole time. And again, don't forget to move. Uh, if you move or turn around and run out of being afraid, as far as like running like this, trying to run away, blah blah blah, whatever. Remember, you have a giant shield, so if you need to push people, you can push people. If you want to run, make sure you do it in a good manner. So, if you're getting kind of cornered and you don't have anywhere to go, run a little bit, turn and try and fight. Run a little bit turn and try and fight. Because if you keep just running straight, people will melt you from behind because you don't have your shield. Run a little bit, get some space, turn around and fire. Alright, so that's a couple pointers while using a D3 build that I've noticed since I've been playing with it. Uh, use it to your discretion, uh, keep it in mind, and so on and so forth. But, alright, let's get right into the gear, and then I'll explain uh, what I use and why. So, we will start with my chest piece. It is an electronics rolled vigorous chest piece with uh, health, skill haste, and ammo capacity. Now, the couple things you want to make sure you have on this build is skill haste. You want to have close to max or max skill haste. Now, again, with any build other than a tactician, the maximum skill haste is 40%. The highest that you can definitely get is 37 well, 40 is the definite that you can get. You can get 40 if you really, really, really get perfect rolls on all your gear. The highest you can get is 40. The average of what people have is 37. So if you're between 37 and 40, you have max skill haste for any build other than tactician. Uh, again, the other thing you want to look at is getting crit chance. Uh, you want to try and get crit chance, and you also want to try and get max skill haste. So... Uh, electronics rolled vigorous chest piece. Uh, the reason why I use vigorous is because I'm using booster shot to get that extra damage um, when I go to fight players, and it also boosts my teammates. Um, this build's a little bit different than my normal hybrid, high skill, high uh, firearms and electronics builds. Um, you can see that my skill power is a little bit lower. I usually sit at about 220 skill power. The reason why I have it a little bit lower is I'm specking more into firearms because I don't necessarily need my heals to do that much. Um, I have a giant shield in front of me, so I want to hit harder, faster, and get it over with quicker. So, um, 
Electronics rolled a vigorous chess piece with two electronics mods rolled rolled skill paste. Uh, I have a D3 mask uh, rolled skill power, burn resistance, and uh, 1267 firearms. Obviously, I'd like that skill power to be crit chance. Um, again, you want to try and have everything either crit chance or skill haste. So I'd get rid of that skill power and put on some skill or uh, crit chance. My mod on here is uh, a stamina mod rolled skill haste. My knee pads are an electronics rolled D3 knee pads rolled health, disrupt, burn, and shock. Uh, I could not ask for a better pair of knee pads. All I would ask for is that the armor be higher, but you have health on it, you have disrupt, burn, and shock, um, and you have electronics, which is almost 1272 is the max uh, for an electronics roll. So this is perfect pair of knee pads other than the armor. Um, but you definitely want your minor attributes to be disrupt, burn, and shock, and your uh, major attribute to be health. I have a stamina mod rolled skill haste and a performance mod, which is ballistic shield damage. Uh, so the reason why I'm using ballistic shield damage is because you want to put out as much damage as possible, and this is exactly how you're going to do it. Um, so all my mods are going to be ballistic shield damage. I don't necessarily need first aid self heal because I have a giant shield and I'm getting my heals back a lot quicker, especially when I'm using triage on my teammates. So. Uh, ballistic shield and stamina rolled skill haste. Now, here is where you can get a little uh, fancy and choose what you would like to do. In all of my other builds, I put on a um, specialized backpack. So you can choose to do a specialized backpack and get a little bit higher skill power because of your stamina and firearms. I choose to have a D3 backpack so I could have uh, savage gloves for that crit chance. Now obviously if people are going to come running at me at my shield, they're going to be out in the open, they're not going to be in cover. Um, savage gloves, critical hit chance is increased by 7% against targets out of cover. So obviously they're going to be out of cover trying to run at you. Um, so that's why I have savage on and a D3 backpack. But you can play around with that and do a D3 gloves with a specialized backpack. Just keep it the same form as far as uh, double firearms. Um, so firearms, firearms, um, you know, firearms, D3 gloves, firearms, specialized, uh, do it, something like that. So my backpack is rolled firearms with health and ammo capacity, 1252 armor, and my mods are electronics with skill haste, ballistic shield damage, ballistic shield damage. My specialized gloves, or my, sorry, my savage gloves are 982 armor, 1250 firearms, uh, SMG damage, crit hit damage, and skill haste. Now again, you want to try and get crit chance. Um, so I do have SMG damage, skill haste, and then crit hit chance. So I could use these gloves, but they're rolled electronics. Um, if I wanted to, I can try and see if I can roll this backpack for electronics. Uh, but, you know, that's just what I would do on my own personal time. But Savage Gloves, uh, SMG, Crit Chance, and Skill Haze is kind of what you want to go for. Or you can do Crit Damage, Crit Chance, and Skill Haze. That's also a good way to do it. Um, so that's up to you. Uh, choose wisely. And then my holster is a D3 holster. 6% skill haste, everything in the 1200s, and 958 armor, your basic holster, and then I have a ballistic shield damage resilience mod. Um, that will give me a little bit extra cushion as far as uh, damage goes. So 5% shield re uh, damage resistance, and then everything else is plus 4% ballistic shield damage. Now let's look at my guns. Uh, I am using an MP5 doing 17.2k damage, that's without booster shot, 20% uh, crit hit chance with adept, responsive, and deadly. Again, uh, you want to try and get as much crit chance as possible, so adept for every time you pop your booster, pop your booster, you get that adept, and then you go ahead and fire off. Uh, deadly for that crit damage and responsive because they're always going to be pretty much close to you trying to get around that shield. 
Uh, my weapon attachments is a uh, extended mag with magazine size, reload speed, and rate of fire. Uh, scope is crit damage, headshot damage, and crit chance. Again, for all of your weapon attachments, you want to have crit damage rolled on it because on all your gear, you want to be specking to crit chance. So you want to be able to put out damage for all that crit chance that you stacked up. So crit hit damage, headshot damage, and crit hit chance. Uh, my muzzle is crit damage, crit chance, headshot damage, and then my grip is crit damage, stability, and reload speed. For my secondary, it's the Lavo C 17k damage. Really, it's just for NPCs, uh, adept, deadly, competent, um, pop your booster, you get all that good jazz. Uh, again, all my weapon attachments on here are also spec'd towards crit damage. Uh, magazine size, crit damage, crit chance, headshot damage um, for everything else that I have on here. Now, when I pop my booster shot, you'll see my toughness goes up to 324, and my weapon damage goes up to 19.8k. So we go to about 20k from 17 to 20, so we're getting about 3,000 damage more with that booster shot. So, imagine I pop my booster, 25 seconds, 21 seconds goes by, I get my booster back again, you're wearing a giant shield, and, uh, you know, you just keep fighting. So that's very good. I, I like the booster combo with the with the kind of high skill, um, especially for your teammates too. So let's get into my skills. I'll explain why. Um, first, look at my talents. Uh, I have triage, crit save, combat medic, and strike back. So if I get low health, I get 20% cooldown, which means I get my booster back quicker. So I get more toughness and more damage output uh, when I reach low health. But I'm not low health anymore. Uh, I use that and triage so that I get my skills back even quicker. Um, if I was running solo, I would use uh, one is none, um, on the move, precision, you know, one of the uh, combo of those two instead of triage and combat medic. Um, you don't necessarily need combat medic when you're running solo, obviously, or triage because you're not healing anybody. So I do on the move, precision, or uh, one is none, depending on if I was running as a team or solo. Now my skills, I'm using a booster shot, uh, which is a cooldown of 27%, because my skill power is not as high, usually it'd be the 25 second range, but you have triage um, on there, so you're gonna get that uh, skill cooldown faster. Now for your ballistic shield, it doesn't matter what modification you choose, uh, it is all the same. If you look at the health, the damage increase and the damage resilience, it is all the same. Used to be in 1.6, I had another build video, that you can choose any of these and it worked with your defense build. Uh, not the case anymore at 1.6.1. It doesn't matter which one of these you choose. You don't get any of the bonuses. You don't get uh, pulse. You don't get the booster. You don't get the uh, grant small portion of incoming damage as health. So just choose the regular ballistic shield. Um, all the health is the same, damage resilience, damage increase is all the same. So the cooldown here is only 16%, which is not bad. If your shield goes down, um, you know, it just comes right back. And that is what I run for my shield. Now, again, don't forget a couple more pointers with the defense build. If you see your health going down on your shield, you don't have to just deconstruct it. You pop a med kit, it will bring your health back on your shield. Um, Let's look at my weapon damage and everything like that real quick. So here we go. Crit chance is only 25%. That should be in the 37 to 40 range uh, without a pulse. So obviously I have some things to roll. Uh, I got to get it on my um, my gloves. I got to get it on my mask. So I still have a little bit of work to do as far as getting my crit chance up. But as, as far as showing you guys what the build should look like, that's what you want. 37 to 40% range for your crit chance. Uh, is where you want to be. I mean, 32 to 40 is pretty, pretty generous. Uh, the max crit chance is 60%. So if somebody in your team is running a pulse, a good pulse like the ones that I have on my other builds, uh, where you're hitting like 20, 25% with your pulse, that'll be how you get your max crit chance uh, is with the pulse remainder. But um, crit chance, try and get between 32 and 40. So roll it on your mask or and your gloves um, so that you have that. Crit damage, 111, 113 is about where you could be. Uh, headshot damage, 61%. Mm -hmm. 
And then we'll go and look at my skill haste. Skill haste is 35%. So obviously I need to get a little bit of work done here uh, to get that up to 3740. Um, but uh, it's really just the rolls on my gear that are hindering it. Uh, I don't have max rolls on my chest, uh, on my um, gloves, or my holster. So that is where the remainder will come into play. Uh, so again, skill haste is going to be 40 between 37 and 40 percent to get that max skill haste for any build other than a tactician build. Uh, so again, you want to be around 6,000 firearms, 300 toughness, 180 or above skill power, um, and that is the D3 build. Again, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stick around for a PvP clip of me using this Dark Zone, and I hope to see you guys on my stream. Thanks, guys, and have a great day, and happy 4th of July. Spartan! Behind the captain! <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, my God. I want you to know me, Killed you. Uh -huh. <laughs> See on me in the middle. Another yeah. Grammy. You see that Merc Church? They're behind me! Oh, yeah, my shirt is. I'm yeah! I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Through the window. Through the window. I'm gonna pop it very far down.
One down. Pushing up. Turn around, turn around, girl. I got this. Yeah, I know, but we're gonna kill you, dude. What's this guy got? Cut that line. Oh, there's only two of them? Cut that line. I got shoes, back up shoes. Cut that line, cut it. No, no, cut that no, motherfucker, no, no. cut no, no. it! That's suicide, they're all standing on it. Then I'm gonna cut it, motherfucker! I'm coming in oh hot! God. I'm coming in Jesus. hot! Like a fucking Mama June at a fucking all you can eat buffet, bro! Here it comes! Cut that line! <laughs> I'm coming! <laughs> I'm coming! <laughs> I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh shit! Damn it! They got it away, motherfucker! All right, all right, all right, regroup. I got a heal on you, both. Right around the front. He's down, he's down, he's down. Oh, shit, fuck he's you. Down. Get... One down, one down. Get out. He's dead. The guy down's gonna die right now. Another one down. Okay. The circle around the left, around Get the left wrecked. with the uh, gorilla behind him. I got you, I got you. Get down Ooh, here. Get I, got him. I got him, I got him, I got him. Good shit. Woo. Coming in hot, <laughs> coming in hot. I almost had that shit cut, too.